Hello everybody, it's your own Fred's on Monday Madness, and welcome to uh, BurfBot's latest playthrough. Woo! So, um, we have Tina joining us today, but she hopefully won't be a factor. BurfBot, how much do you know of uh, the game we're about to play? Did Michael Moore make it? No. You, then, pro you, you probably wish he would have, to be honest. Yeah, I, I don't know. I yeah. just, I've been warned. It's, it's, like, it's a bad game, it's, so it's, I know what to expect. I, ca I call it problematic. That's, that's the way I'd kind of describe it. I don't like that word personally, but this one has has problematic things in it. Right, okay. So, so. if you're saying it's problematic... <laughs> I know, I have very low standards, but... Uh, yeah, when it comes, okay. I, There's a few rocks I'll perish on when it comes to video games, and writing is one of them. Yes, So, okay. um, just brace yourself, is what I'm saying. I, now, to be fair, this is in my top 100 games, but it's for the first half of the game. Right. Um, so I should enjoy the first half? Yeah, I think you'll enjoy the first half, because you will be actually playing. Ooh. Yes. So, um, don't worry, it's not too bad when it comes to gameplay. Um, so you should be able to get the hang of it fairly well. Just press any button there, so we don't have to look at the demo. And, yeah, there you go. So we'll get this boring shit out of the way. Yeah, we want to not, we need an auto save. I'm just distracted by such good... Um... Graphics? Yeah. Well, this is... From the two, from two thousand five, but um, this has been constantly brought up to like modern consoles and stuff like that. So love it, bad. Just keep bad. keep it short and simple. That's it. So as you can see, uh, if anyone who doesn't know, this is a Quantic Dream game uh, designed and produced by um, David Cage. And uh, to show you how wanky he thinks he is, as you can see, it's a new movie, not a new game. Oh my god! Because that's because he's one of those uh, people. Yeah. yeah. He considers this a movie instead like of a video game. Look at camera angles and shit. Oh. Yeah, exactly. So, um, in terms of gameplay, it's fairly it's like Heavy Rain in the sense where you have like kind of quick time events to do, wander around, interact with shit. You can do the tutorial if you wanted to get the the gist of the controls, and we can cut it out then. Sure. Okay. Yeah, just so you kind of get the idea of it. Because when you start a new game, you do kind of have to know what you're doing. Right. Can't just wing it. Yeah. First day of shooting. My name is David Cage. A I'm the writer and director of Fire. That's da this is David Cage. There's a few things you should know. He puts himself in the fucking thing. I'd like you to meet my friend. Where are you? I've told you everything I know, or nearly everything. There are still lots of things to discover, but I'll leave you the surprise of finding them for yourself. Now it's up to you to play. And be careful. You're entering a world where anything can happen. Ooh. Don't so, care. Well, he's talking about his mental health there. Um, that's your health bar in this game. So right, you have to keep okay. yourself mentally fo mentally stable, basically. Right. So you can do things, or you can look at things that might uh, upset you. And if you're not looking after it, then you actually do like lose. So can I just commit suicide really early into the game and quit? You, that is things would be an option. Like what they say. <laughs> we think we understand the world around us, but this is officially starting uh, game, by the way. See the Seriously, mm. this is so pretentious. Yeah. I used to be just like you. No, I didn't. believed in humanity, the newspapers, no. soap commercials, politics, and history books. But one day, the world kicks you in the teeth, and you don't have any choice but to see things the way they really are. My name is Lucas Kane. My story is the one where an ordinary guy has something extraordinary happen. So Cage created this and had the main character Maybe called Kane. Kane, yeah. Yeah, I'm not um, looking forward to this. This seems pretentious as shit. Yeah, the um, the uh, tutorial didn't really um. I did not warm to it. No, that's fair. So to give you a bit of a primer, um, and right here, oh, these are probably close anyway. New York, capital of the universe. The chessboard destiny chose for the last big game. I was just another pawn living my pawn's life until that night. Life descended into chaos. We will try and get the subtitles up, folks, at some stage. So, stay tuned. There are so there are subtitles. <laughs> Why <laughs> bother? Some poor shit is talking about some poor shit. Mm. Oh look, a bird. But see, the, here's the thing, right? The like I do. The first half of this game is very, very good in what it does. But it's the important thing is trying to keep track of the plot. That's the real like. 
like cut and thrust here. Just try and see, try and follow what's going on. I think I gave myself too much optimism when you said you liked the first half. And I still do like the first half. The first half is really well executed. Unfortunately, um, it doesn't last. And uh, in case anyone's wondering, we're playing this on the PS4 because the HD remake um, came out for, was ported to PS2 and is emulatable on the PlayStation Store. So you can enjoy this game just as we are. Uh, right, we've got a guy taking the longest piss ever. Yeah. And you've got bleed mystery in the mm. cubicle there. Oh, I'm getting a vibration, something's yeah. happening. It's not a good vibration, I hear that much. Beach boys don't like this one. Nope. And this is our main character. Right, okay. That's Lucas Kane. Lucas Kane. So. Oh. Ooh. Oh, he thinks he's in some sort of ritual? Perhaps this someone's controlling him. See? Well, it's not me. Or is it? Yeah, you see, that's the thing. This. No, he got him. No, he got him. He got him. He got him good. In the same way the Power Rangers always hit their victims. Mm hmm. Until he finished his pee, otherwise he'd be sitting in the corner. Yeah, uh, it's at least um, you know courtesy mm. at one t at some point. But and now you have a child. A child, all right. Yeah. Not an amorphous blob, okay. No. He seems to have snapped out of it. Yes. What? What? What have I done? Oh, I'm depressed. Yeah. Well, wouldn't you be after killing a man? <laughs> well, it depends. It could be a creep. Yeah, that's true. Could have served it. It's like a dream. Now. So this first part of the game is time sensitive. Oh, well, I'm right? shite at these. Yeah. Right, okay. Got police by... Quick. I, I, I've got to get out of here before somebody comes in here. Uh... Yeah. Okay, grand. Okay, now we're back. In, now we're back in play. <clears throat> so, so time sensitive. Need to escape a toilet. Yes, but here's the thing. Look at all the evidence. Right. So I need to clean up. Pretty much, yeah. All right. So go, go around on. the room. Do what you need to do. Look at the window. <sighs> it's barred up. I can't get out this way. Right, got some toilet. And that makes you more depressed, as you can see. Wash me hands. Yeah. Uh, so you can go. Why not walk out and be like, hey, sorry, I think I'm after doing this shitty thing. <laughs> you know, give me some mental health drugs and <laughs> give me some, you please give me some benzodiazepines, I killed yeah. a man. Uh, so now you're clean. Clean. Yeah, and, and you've washed off your uh, wounds on your wrists. So now, what's the next thing to do? I need to turn off the tap. No, I need more water. Surely I need to mop up. Where do I yeah, there's a mop there. There's a mop. Go on. Pick up the mop. No. Can't interact with them all. Uh, yeah. Pr I, oh, going there you go. Alright, so let's use the toilet. <laughs> yeah. And there's one one thing about weird about the David Cage games is that you can always go to the toilet in them. Oh, is that like one of his gimmicks? I think so. I think it's because, like, um. I'm bleeding. I must have cut my wrist with a knife. Both of my forearms are cut, too. Mmm, interesting. Right. Okay, so. This quick was again. Oh no. Yeah, the flush. flush, yeah. Okay, so let's look at the body then. See what we can do with that. Ah, clever. So L1 and R1. You're gonna put him in the toilet. Yeah. Try and flush him like a bad tampon. Don't do that. No, don't do that. <laughs> and right. There you have it. So you'll get used to the controls, but they are like the controls are fairly intuitive for what it is, like. Yeah. So, body's been hidden. 
So now we need to mop up. Come now on. you have to mop up. That's it. Okay. And uh, this one. That's it. Or no? Yeah, I think the other icon was the blood on the floor. So that's what you oh, need. Oh, yeah, clearly. Yeah. That's it. That was so you have quick. to hold it up. See, there you go. Yeah, you have to do the up and down oh. movements. So again, the idea is like you, like you're in this way you actually are meant to relate to the character. You're gonna do this whatever kind of motion they're meant to be doing in some cases. Right. Can I pee again? Oh. No. Right. What do I? Oh, oh, what's, what's that? that? The knife. The knife. I've got to get rid of it. Out the window. Potentially. Oh, Ooh. did I not do it in time? Possibly not. Shouldn't have hissed twice. Ooh. Oh, have I got it? Have I got rid of it? <laughs> no, I got caught. Let's well, see now. Hang on. Go, go, quick. Quick, out the door. Out the, come on, out the door. Out ah. the door. Yeah, and out straight out. You can hold X to run. And straight at the diner. Oh, I just missed it. Oh, oh no. Yeah. A crime has just been committed. I'm going to have to ask you to stay calm. Right, stop him. Wait here for the <laughs> nope, that's uh, game over, unfortunately. Yeah, now, it, it's, that's fine. Police. There's nothing wrong with that. It, like, this first thing is kind of like a tutorial as well. You're supposed to right. get acquainted with how to do things quickly. Introduction to hiding a murder. Pretty much, yeah. It's a, it's a hot start, I'll say that much. Oh god, I've done this whole thing yet. Right, pee yeah. first. <laughs> I don't need to do the window. No, no. Ah. Uh, right, shut up. I can't get out this way. Right, right what do I need to do first? I need to uh, wash yourself, body. clean oh, yourself, um, yeah. put the body in the toilet, hide the knife, and off you pop. Yeah. Oh, and mop up as well. Yeah. So, you bet you did do everything right there, but it's just doing it quicker. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. As I said, there's no... With this part of the game, you're allowed to kind of fail once or twice to get the gist. Come on, buddy, 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 buddy. Like, being critical, I think you lost time in the mopping. You know? Which is, if anything, ironic. What, because I'm a woman? Yes. <laughs> That's exactly what I mean. What's your initial thoughts so far? I don't like it. Really? Oh, did I just threw it back again? <laughs> Stop doing that. Ah, oh, I hate mopping. <laughs> that, that's, that is very much coming across. You can't even no. I don't even know how to do the mopping. Come on, up and down. Ah! <laughs> no! Come on, you can do this. I don't wanna. All right, up. 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 Up and down. Up. Up. Hold up. Hold up. Yeah, hold up, and then up and down. Like that. There you go. Like you have, if you're doing an action, you have to do the action on the analog but stick. It doesn't even give me that prompt. Right now, put this back. Now put it back. Now get yeah. knife. Yeah. Uh, pick up knife. Pick up knife. Pick up knife. There you go. Oh, it's going to the bathroom. I've got to get rid of it. No, he'll just uh, dis he'll disappear away. Oh. <clears throat> so even you don't know where you put it. That will become relevant in a few minutes. Stay tuned, people. Right, I can just walk out now. You can walk I? out now, yeah, I think you've done everything. Grand. And out you go. So like I said, you do have a set amount of time before the policeman gets up to yeah. have a slash. So you keep it nice and calm. Let's keep it cool. Run! Yeah, pretty much up. Sir. The waitress. She noticed something. I'm done for. Uh, yeah, talk to her, talk to her. Oh, shit! Hey, sir, your bill! You didn't pay for your food. Oh, dear. So, just so go. go back in? No, just go, just go. Get out of this go, go, run. Get here. Run. Ah. Yeah, that's it, just go. Well, he'll find my footprints if he's any way good. Okay. Right. Find way to get back home. Let's find a cab or something. Oh, he's not letting me go. I thought like. Oh, yeah, go. I'm gonna get caught again. Could do. Ah. 
Yeah, it's mastering the camera is a is a big deal. What's that there? Look. There's the cab. Now he's found the body. Down. 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 Nice. Did that just in time. Now, so the way this works is, we're now going to play as the detectives, right? So in a way now, you can play off between the two, between the suspect and the cops chasing them. Right. So if you want to, you could play it so that the cops are winning, or you can play that as the suspect is winning. Okay. Depending Which on how you play. Which will finish the game quicker? Uh, they both finish the same. It's all oh. much of a muchness. That's why I like the first half of the game, because you're at odds with each other, with, mm. with, with yourself, basically. You can play as whichever way you want to. 